Hey Jenna. Hello. Today's the day. You know what the day is? Today is the day. We're picking up the G Wagon. Fully wrapped, new color. Why am I doing this? We hope so. I'm excited to show you guys. I'm in like the best mood ever right now. I'm excited. Nothing can bring me down. Today's the day. Today's the day. I gotta go get a check, then we're gonna get an Uber, and then we're gonna go. All right, Jenna, I'm hoping that this wait was well worth it. And when we see the car, that it's gonna be beyond all of our expectations. That's what I'm hoping for anyways. I hope that you guys like it. I picked out the color. Um, it'll all make sense when you guys see the actual car. And I don't know what I'm gonna show it to you guys in this vlog. I haven't decided like if it's gonna be at the start or at the end, but we'll find out. Hopefully you guys stick around for the whole thing. I'm excited for Jenna to see it actually I'm too. I know nothing about it. She knows nothing about it. it. We haven't seen pictures of it yet. Really, like, we're going into this, you and I, in the same way. Just, like, an open mind. I mean, I know the color, but still. It's gonna be dope. I'm excited. I'm getting nervous. Me too. Have a good one. Drive safe. Me too. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. I oh, see I'm it. so nervous. I see it. Do you? I do. I don't want to look. I see it. I, I'm looking at it. I'm nervous. I'm gonna try to record this without getting angry. Normally when you watch a video, I'm in like really good spirits and for the most part in good mood. I'm actually like genuinely pissed off right now because there's just so many things that have happened with this car that are just making my blood boil. So I'm inside the G-Wagon right now. At least it's drivable. At least I can take it out on the road and get from point A to point B. The whole problem was that I dropped the car off on December 15th. You guys have heard this story in the last couple of vlogs. And now I'm getting the car back on January 9th. 2017 so that's almost an entire month when initially the estimate the ETA for the car to be done is four to five days We have the holidays. I get that but the car should not have taken a month to get done Literally almost an entire month that I didn't have this car and they had that time to work on it So earlier this week I gave the owner of the shop a call. Hey, man, where's my car? What's going on? He said we're gonna put the car back together should be ready Friday the latest Saturday Well Friday comes around no phone call from him Saturday comes around no phone call for him So I give him another phone call. Hey, man, you got me chasing your Around. I, I feel like I'm crazy over here, but I, I gotta know what's going on with the car. It's almost been a month. He tells me that they're not open on Sundays, but he's personally gonna go into the shop and, and see that everything is put back together so that you could pick it up on, on, on Sunday afternoon. So Sunday comes around and I'm thinking, all right, this is the day. I'm gonna go pick up my car and everything's gonna be great. I get a phone call from him at like 12 o'clock in the afternoon and he tells me that the battery isn't working, that it's completely dead. I've only had this car for a year and he said that the battery is completely drained and they're trying to charge it up right now. All right, I mean, I don't have uh, an, a response to that. What do you want me to say? Like, dude, there's no way for me to approach that situation like in a confrontational way because I still don't have my car. It's in his possession. I'm not saying anything to piss this guy off. Fast forward two hours later, I get another phone call from him and he confirms that the battery is completely dead, but they're on their way to buy a replacement battery and they're gonna put it in the car and test it out to make sure it's working okay. So I asked him, well, dude, I need like the Mercedes-Benz battery. I have a warranty on it. I can't just go replacing the battery. So he assures me that it's the same brand, the same exact battery, and he's doing it to do me a favor so he can get me the car quicker. At this point, I'm just completely fed up. All right, put the new battery in so I can come get the car I, and I, I so I don't have to deal with this situation anymore. More time goes on throughout the day and I finally get another phone call from him two hours later and he says, all right, Matt, the car is all done. Can you come pick it up tomorrow morning? So now now we're in present day. Jenna is with me in the car. Show up to the dealership. You guys saw me. I was all excited. I was really, really nervous. We were walking up to see the car. Jenna could see it like as I was vlogging. And then finally I lay eyes on it. And it's just like, ah, uh, the color does not look anything like the actual sample that I was shown. And it could be because we're in overcast lighting right now. And I'm going to show you guys the car here in a little bit. It looks good, but it's not what I had pictured. Like it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. So I'm a little disappointed in that sense. But but that's not even the whole thing that like, that's not even that's not even why I'm upset the reason why I'm angry is because I get there and there's another problem. He's handing me the key and I'm handing him the check and he tells me that the rear view camera on my brand new car that's only a year old just randomly stopped working. And he reiterates to me that he, the work that they did had nothing to do with the rear view camera and they didn't mess with any of the components that make it work. But for whatever reason, my battery's dead, I have it in the back seat and now the rear view camera isn't working. So I'm, now I'm at the Mercedes-Benz dealership where I bought the car 
are. I've got a really cool service advisor. I'm waiting for him to get back from lunch. I'm hoping he's gonna help me out and, and get all these problems fixed. On top of all that, my window tints have bubbles on the side here and, and the car, the wrap itself is dirty and on, on the side of the car, it's got bubbles. It's just not good. Genuinely, like I'm just angry. I was talking to Jenna too on top of that, thinking how I could have handled the situation differently in person with him. Yeah, I could have put up like a fight. Listen, man, you didn't get these things done. There's a huge problem. Like, it's just it's just like it's like a situation from hell. And I, I could have been confrontational. I, I could have fought to like not pay the guy. But in my head, I'm thinking it through. There's no situation where I argue with this guy. Listen, man, I can't pay you for all these things when the car is not up to the standard that I thought it was going to be for the money that I'm paying you. Like they were just no situation where I get into an argument with this guy and it works out in my favor. So I just handed the guy the check. I, I'm literally sitting in the front seat of the car, hand him the check, shake his hand, I'm out. Now I'm at the Mercedes-Benz dealership. I'll keep you guys updated on, on, on what I find out. And I'm sorry if I seem like I'm complaining about something that is more of like a luxury of life, but it, it just, for the money that I spent, it's just not the situation that I wanted to deal with. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll show you the car here soon. You should drink this. It literally tastes like a liquid warm milkshake. You wanna try it? No. It's I not too hot. It. it won't burn your tongue. I'm too angry to drink. Come on. Smell it. I'm too do, angry do to smell. drink. I can't drink. That does smell good. It smells like maple syrup. It's like a it's a vanilla. No, I'm so upset. <laughs> It'll feel nice going in your tummy. All right, guys, it's actually the next day. Yesterday when I picked up my car, I ran out of daylight and I didn't have an opportunity to shoot it and show you guys what it looks like. So after all this waiting and after all this talking and after all this anticipation, here is the newly wrapped So now that I've had a full day to sit with the car, I wanna to explain to you guys what my vision was initially. The whole plan was that I was gonna go matte silver with the car, but for whatever reason, this wrap has like a bluish like undertone to it. And so when, when I look at this car, I, I don't see silver. I see like a grayish blue, and that really wasn't what I had in mind. When I was first thinking about getting it wrapped, I wanted to do a matte gray, but when I showed up to the auto shop initially, he showed me their matte gray, and it was just really, really dark. It was almost like a matte black, so I wanted to go lighter and and silver for me was something I really want to do like a matte silver was gonna be great which is why yesterday when we picked up the car I was confused as to why the first thing Jenna said she's like it's blue literally the first thing she said is it supposed to be blue and uh, for me that was uh, a little disappointing but don't you see blue as well no, I, I see okay, blue. Okay, I'm like, like wait. <laughs> no, it's got like a, it's like a grayish blue undertone. I've asked a few people randomly like, hey, when you look at this car, what color do you see? They keep saying grayish blue. So I'm bringing you guys to the front of the car because there's a lot of things that they did well. But the problem is, is that all the things that are done well in the car is not what the auto shop did. So this guard right here that I have on the G-Wagon is actually part of a premium package that you can purchase with Mercedes. And originally it was chrome and we had it powder coated black completely, gloss black. And then we also did the grill and then the Mercedes-Benz logo on the front. And this looks phenomenal. Like they did a fantastic job. But the problem is, is that for this, he told me that the auto shop like outsources. They just take this guard off and send it to like a Mercedes-Benz dealership and they paint it themselves. So they didn't even do this part of it. So now if I show you guys the wheels, it's like the same situation. It's like they look great and they're powder coated. I'm really, really happy about it. But the auto shop that I paid all this money to do it, they didn't actually do this. Like this wasn't even in their scope. They just sent these off and had them done. Another small detail that I actually really, really love is the number and letter emblems on the back and on the side of the car were all powder coated black. So it really matches the wheels and the front guard. I really, really love that. It's a good touch. Another aspect of this wrap that I really, really love is the fact that we didn't actually wrap the roof of the car. So we could have taken this matte silver, supposed matte silver, and did it on the roof. Uh, but now, since we kept it like the default black that my car was originally, it gives this really cool two-tone look that you don't see in a lot of G-Wagons. And I think that's a really, really good touch, especially because it complements the wheels, the front guard, the emblems, and everything else. So overall, my experience with this shop and the wrap were just terrible. But I don't want it to seem like I'm being incredibly negative because 
The color is unique. Uh, some of you guys might like it. It's not like an absolute train wreck, but it's just not what I had pictured in my head. When you have a vision for something, and it's not conceptualized and executed the way that you thought it would be, it just leads to a little disappointment. I think I have my expectations too high. So, um, I, it's blue. <laughs> it shouldn't be blue. <laughs> I don't know why it's blue. I didn't want a blue car. I wanted a silver car. Hey, if there's any, any shops in LA, if you want to redo this for me, you only got to do the wrap, nothing else. Everything else is done. Hit my line. I'll shout you out in a video. I really don't want to pay for another one because it was expensive. That's another thing. With the money that I spent for this entire job, this guy made a huge profit off of me. I can't imagine like the actual film to wrap the car is that expensive. And yeah, it took time and labor, but I paid a pretty penny for all this to be done. For the amount of time it took them and then the drain battery and the broken rear view camera, the bubbles in the wrap and the windows, it's just, like one star review for me out of five. It just wasn't a good situation. Oh, no.